in the uh, going back to I'm mean, going to go back 1957 or prior to that, and even today, uh, your your so-called latest building codes require a damp proofing on uh, on the foundation wall, which is only taking a tar a tar and a solvent and spraying it on the foundation wall. Then uh, today, and then that was it. You put in the weeping towel, that was it. So, But as long as that water is flowing away from your foundation, you don't have a problem. But if they're improperly, that water is going to stay and it's going to soak through. And then was mainly block. It could be brick. And a modern one is poured concrete. Well, poured concrete is not waterproof okay it soak it'll soak through you'll get dampness in the, the basement and uh, of course it's uh, there's a lot of heat that's lost through a, a basement wall now the building codes never ask for waterproofing and never and today do not ask for waterproofing damp proofing which is moisture resistant well, that's like me trying to, to, to dive 100 foot with my, my uh, water-resistant watch, okay? It, it's it's going to malfunction. So what they do, uh, when these get plugged up, the conventional system is you have to dig them up, dig them up, and uh, replace them with new st the standard of, of weeping tone. Now, people that use a tar, or even a previous, when they use a tar, a tar-like material, they call it foundation, they call it aqua poop, they call it aqua stop, they, you know, like aqua's, uh, you know, aqua, aqua black, <laughs> they make up all these, all it is, is a bucket of tar. Now, a bucket of tar is still, when they roll it on, it's still deemed a damp proofing. They get into uh, waterproofing uh, when you put on a couple coats of that, and then you have a retaining cloth, uh, and they can deem it. But no, no, no waterproof goes through that stage. You got it, it's another stage of drying and setting, etc. Now, Noah's waterproofing system, and I'll get into prevention later involves using membranes. Now these membranes were developed over 50 years ago in Germany. So I imagine if you were building new homes in Germany, you want your basements not only waterproof, damp-proofed. You don't want them damp-proofed, you want them waterproofed. You want them bomb-proof. Yeah, you want them bomb-proof. So this Grace came out with a uh, uh, a membrane that will resist water at a, at a, at a head pressure of 10,000 feet. That's, that's what waterproofing is, resisting water under pressure. Not, not uh, 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 moisture. There's no even moisture under pressure. We have moisture in this room right now. It's like 45, or 45, 50, 60 percent humidity. Well, along with that, Grace developed what's called a, a dimple board. Now, they patented both of them at that time. So, all these patents are passed, or people can get other manufacturers get around them. And uh, these here, these are like packaging materials, uh, manufacturers that could extrude this type of material. And uh, they have no idea what it's for. I'm not going to disclose that right now. Because I can talk to 95% of so-called waterproofers, which are fraudulent damp proofer applicators because they're putting on tar, they're not putting on membranes, and I'll get to why they do that later. But anyway, well there we go. Now that was supposed to marry membranes to here. This was not meant to marry from here until a coating of tar. So I got tar in here, okay? Or one of these manufacturers. It doesn't matter. If you open up the, and it looks like tar, it stinks like tar, it is tar. 
and they can, they can put all their other geeky uh, engineers and, you know, make it up look like it's, it can do what this can do. It can't do what this can do. And it's hand app applied, okay? Uh, this here is hand applied, but it comes in, 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 in four foot uh, wide rolls. So this was meant to marry to this, and it was developed by Grace at the same time. And again, bomb proof. So if, there, if there's any shake or an earthquake, all right, this has got flexibility, right? So water can't get in. So now getting down to the footings, this is like a, a swimming pool. It's like the reverse of a vinyl liner in a swimming pool as a container water. Well, on the reverse side, any hydrostatic pressure can't get through here and will resist it. So while we while we dig dig this, I mean to get into our actual system, we actually roll on a uh, uh, a liquid rubber, which is a certified waterproofing membrane. I want I won't divulge what it is at the moment. I, I have to watch what I'm saying. I don't like to play poker with transparent cards, and I'm sure some of the uh, the competition who uses this for years and years and years. Uh, and we dig up years and years later, um, uh, may catch uh, uh, you know new the new modern way to do it. But the NOAA's waterproofing and prevention system is a, is a copyrighted proprietary system. It's a proprietary system. Uh, it's not a company. Okay, it's a formula. And with this formula, anyone that would you know dare to touch it, fine. I am also a JD. I'm a Juris Doctor, and I just love to get them in the into court uh, if they don't cease and desist. Now, as I, as I said, when they use tar and they marry this material to, to uh, the tar, the tar is a viscosity of a thick peanut butter. So what happens is it impacts all of these, all of these uh, uh, cavities. Okay? This is not meant to marry to here. Uh, it's sort of like trying to paint a car uh, with chalk. Uh, never came up with that one, but these are not meant to marry together. But it's passed on as a membrane. Okay, This is not a waterproofing membrane. It was placed inside on a wall. This captured water, it doesn't keep water out. Waterproofing keeps water out under pressure. 